Hi, good morning. I'm UD on YT. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my little home on the internet where I vibe. I talk about whatever is on my mind. If you vibe, subscribe. Listen, if you don't vibe, you don't need to announce it. You announcing that you don't vibe actually kills the vibe. I'm going to start. I'm just like, I don't know. I'm low-key thinking of just deleting comments that don't fit the vibe because like literally just leave, like just, just leave please, please. Like it does. It, it helps so much. It helps so much. But if you do vibe, subscribe today, I'm talking about Doja Cat. Okay. Sometimes on my channel, I talk about myself and sometimes I want to talk about other people. Doja Cat is really mad at this other YouTuber named Lori Hill. I am a fan of both of these people. I am a Doja Cat fan and I am a Lori Hill fan. I get notifications from Lori Hill. If you don't know who Lori Hill is, she is a YouTuber who clocks plastic surgery and procedures. She is not doing it maliciously. She's not doing it as gossip. She's doing it to um, promote awareness that people that you think look beautiful, sometimes they got help. You know, sometimes they're, sometimes they're born with it. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's plastic surgery. And um, I'm into that stuff because I want to know what, what what's the tea? What are the procedures out here to be doing? Because look, this is me. No, no makeup, no skincare. Okay. Um, it's cute or whatever, but if there's something that can make me look better, minimally invasive, then let me get my coins up and get it. Allow me to get my coin up and beautify my life to become the main character. Why not? But I completely, I am mostly on Doja's side here. Let's get into the reaction so you can uh, see. Her teeth are so perfect. Let, I was about to say something, but let me not say, let me not say, let me not say, because she actually mentions her teeth later on in this video. And let me see if I can speed it up as well, because this happened. I fucking did it. I fucking did it. This is that stage. Everybody, attention, come in, come in, come in. I'm too drunk to leave this shit alone. I really want to talk to everybody. Hi. I really- I So keep in mind she's drunk. She has been taking shots throughout this live stream. Keep that in mind. I think she would have reacted to this in a different way if she wasn't drunk. But also, I feel like she has every right to be upset. I'm pissed. I'm livid. I hate when people say shit because they think they fucking know shit. Let's start, let's start from square one. Screen cap this, screen record this, screen cap this right now. I hate when people think, let me know when you started screen capping, please. I, gotta, I, I can't do this right now. Dude. I'm taking a shot. Cheers. Listen, I can't, I can't. I just tweet. Um, I understand why she's taking a shot. She's upset, but you've been taking shots all night and this is just me personally. Um, sometimes, sometimes that means nothing. Sometimes there's something there. And I just noticed that every life that I've seen her, she's drinking. I don't know. I'm just a little concerned, a little concerned, Yana, just, a, just, a, just a little concerned, Yana. I'm not making no accusations or assumptions, just, Hmm, just a little, hmm, you know what I'm saying? Like, just notice things. What I've learned over the time, like on social media, there have been these public service announcements and campaigns and case studies to kind of show that people ignore a lot of things that shouldn't be ignored. You know what I mean? Um, the last school bang bang that happened that went wild. Um, the one where the kid's mom was like, LOL, like, don't let people know that you have a weapon, LOL. You remember that? I don't remember the, the kid's name, but there was a lot of discussion about how if you paid attention to him, there were signs, there were signs and symptoms. Like, there's also this Harvard study that they made these Instagram profiles. They would put alcohol in every picture and they were tracking how long did it take for somebody to express concern that this person is constantly around alcohol. 
you just notice, just notice things, you know, I just want to point that out. Um, because I feel like alcohol is just one of those things that is kind of socially acceptable. So no one is going to say anything or, you know, and you never know if there actually is a problem. You never know if actually this is a symptom of a, of a problem. You know what I mean? I deleted and I deleted a tweet just now. 200,000 fucking views on this video by Lori Hill. And it's called Doja Cat Looks Different Than Before. Here's why. And everybody would say, Doja, what are you doing? Stop it. What are you doing? Stop fucking uh, going on the internet and looking at stuff about you and plastic surgery, blah, 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 blah. That's what this is about. It's about plastic surgery. It's about this bitch, Lori Hill, talking about people's bodies, talking about people's surgery. This bitch made a fucking plastic surgery video on Megan Thee Stallion. Shut the fuck up, bro. At that rate, Megan Thee Stallion is home fucking grown. This Let me just note that obviously Doja Cat does not watch Lori Hill videos. She didn't watch the Megan Thee Stallion video. Lori Hill does not talk about Meg's body in that video. It's specifically about Meg's nose. Um, which I feel like when it comes to Lori Hill videos, um, I feel like as a celebrity, if you're made aware of the video or the, you know, the, the speculation of getting work done, it's well within your right to, to say nothing or to say it. That that's not true. So I trust Lori that when a celebrity comes out and says ABC is not true, she <clears throat> was stand corrected in, in many, I'm not saying, in some of her videos, I've seen her talk about how, Hey guys, in my, in my last video, I was wrong. Um, and things like that. So <clears throat> I, you know, based on what Lori says in that video about Meg's nose, I can believe that. I could believe that. Of course, it's speculation. But here's the thing about speculation, y'all. Because I see a lot of people being like, but Lori says in all of her videos, it's purely speculation. Girl. Like, okay, that's still... It, speculating on something still puts an idea in people's head that may have not been there. And speculation is still what you believe. Like if you spec, if you're speculating on something, that means you believe it. For example, I said, I noticed that Doja Cat is drinking a lot when she goes on live. It could be nothing. It could be something. I'm not speculating anything. I, I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea if it's an issue or it's not an issue. It's just something I noticed, right? But if I were to speculate, I would say, speculating is giving your opinion on something that's just based on your opinion right so speculating would would be saying i think doja cat you know what i'm saying so you can notice something and you can speculate on something and when you speculate on something that's what you believe and you can put beliefs into other people's heads and that can change their beliefs and just saying, oh, but, but it's just speculation. It's all just speculation. That doesn't change the fact that now you got people believing something. Does that make sense? Like, I don't like when people want to play dumb. Like, people are really, like, in, you know, in order to defend Lori, acting like using the word speculation all of a sudden means everybody um, is just on the fence with what Lori's saying. No. <laughs> You're not, people, people are believing what Lori is saying. They understand the speculation, a.k.a. I can't prove it, but that's what I believe. Doja Cat has an issue with people believing something that's not true. Why can't Doja Cat be upset that people are believing something that's not true? Like, I just feel like, because I'm going to defend Lori Hill later on in this video. Well, I actually just defended her, right? Like, she didn't talk about Meg's body. Or she says that she believes Meg's body is homegrown. We all know Meg's body is homegrown. I'm defending Lori in this moment, but um, my point is speculation is still what people believe. And yes, Doja Cat, care. I would care. I would care if people believed that I got work done on my natural face that I didn't get work done on. You know what I mean? Like I would care, especially if I'm a celebrity, I would care. 
Like, I just don't understand. I don't understand why people are playing dumb. Like, you don't you don't see how this is something that would be concerning, especially to a public figure. Like, y'all stop. Like, I don't like when people play semantics. Like, they, they play dumb with semantics. I don't like that. That, that. That's one thing. That's why I'm making this video, because I just have to get things off my chest so I stop reading stupid comments. To, that when people when people comment but she says it's all speculation to me dumb this bitch has nerve and i'll tell you something you want to sit there in your fucking chair talking about how this girl and that girl and this girl got this and that done bitch look at you you got work to do right now and i won't say more now people are upset with this okay you're coming for her for lori's looks so that's a low blow um It did, I mean, I was like, ooh, you dragging her. Okay. I, I did. I was like, ooh. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I, I wasn't expecting that. Right. But also, I just feel like y'all have heard worse. Like, stop playing. Y'all have heard worse dragage on people's looks. <laughs> I don't know. I, I understand what y'all are saying about oh, she didn't need to bring up Lori's looks, but in the heat of the moment, when you upset somebody's talking about show looks, I feel like this was very tame. <laughs> this was very tame to me. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Let's go. Let's talk. Let's chop it up. I'm pissed off. And a lot of people would say, you're mad because it's the truth. You're mad because she clocked you on something. But fuck that. I'm mad because there's lies about me. That's what the fuck I'm mad about. And why shouldn't she be mad about that? People really are saying in the comments, you're just mad because she clocked you. Now, listen, the people, most of the people who are saying, you know, you're just mad because she clocked you. They believe Doja Cat is lying in this video. They believe Doja Cat is going to say, I didn't get this done. I didn't get that. I didn't get this. And people believe that she's lying. I don't blame you. Celebrities lie about getting work done all the time. So, you know what? If you believe Doja's lying, that's you. I'm going to take what Doja says at face value. I'm going to I'm going to believe until proven otherwise. I'm going to believe her. Um, I'm a believe I'm a believe. And that's just me. Un unless, unless somebody leaves me a comment as to why I shouldn't believe Doja. Why shouldn't I believe Doja? And people want to say, I mean, look at her nose. Well, I looked at her nose. Her, lo her nose looks the same to me. Her nose doesn't look different to me. And whatever you saw in Lori's video that convinced you that Doja did work on her nose, the video is gone. And you haven't, you didn't stream record it, so... I mean, I'm not just going to take your word for it. Oh, Lori, Lori's pictures of Doja's nose were really convincing. I'm not going to take your word for it. I don't know you. You're an anonymous. You're an anonymous. I'm going to believe Doja Cat until I'm shown otherwise. And I don't get like, I mean, I get why you wouldn't give her that courtesy because she's a celebrity. You don't trust celebrities. Got it. But, you know, you're going to have to convince me why I shouldn't believe doja when she's saying this so bitch you really want to go let's go she's doing it on purpose by the way before i get into this you're welcome you're welcome for the clout it's not good clout but it's clout it's what you ask for it's what you get when you make lies up about people when you say so this is where people feel like oh you're basically sending your your stands to go harass lori <sighs> um here's the thing when it comes to celebrities, if somebody makes a celebrity upset, you're going to get harassed. Even if the, even if the celebrity said nothing else, the celebrity just said, "Oh my gosh, I just saw ABC and it made me really upset." You will you will get stance harassing you. That's just what comes with it. Like there's like that's just um that's just what comes with it. I don't think Doja is intending for people to go and harass her, harass Lori when she says this. I think when she says this, she, she's saying that now you have attention because I'm talking about you. And I think Doja Cat has the absolute right 
you're telling me some of these people really want me to be on their side with this thought process that if you're a celebrity, you cannot react or talk about or correct a piece of media about you just because the person t- talking about you is not also a celebrity or a business. Get out of here. Doja Cat is a human being. If somebody is addressing her human body, she can respond point blank, period. I vehemently disagree with this idea that because you're a celebrity, you cannot talk about things about that are about you. Mm -mm. Like really? I don't, I don't know. I don't play that game. The natural consequence of upsetting somebody more popular than you is that the people who super defend this person will come harass you. That's just a natural consequence. That's what you risk when you talk about certain people. You know what I'm saying? Like when you, if you talk about somebody, you are risking that person's fans coming for you, no matter how big or small they are. Shit about people, bitch. I'll tell you one thing. I built my career off of my body and the way that my body looks, and making my fans feel confident in the way that their body looks. And the moment that I start losing weight, bitches like you, Jack Skellington, bitches like you, want to start talking about the way that I look. Yeah, I'm looking at you. Don't be afraid. Don't click out. This is screen. I didn't catch. I didn't catch that Jack Skellington. <laughs> Girl, I don't know. Whatever, but yeah, she's dragging her. Mm-hmm. She It'll mad. be on the internet. You'll see it. Don't be scared. Don't run away. No, this is something. If I was Doja, it would be very, it would be upsetting for me. The moment Doja started losing weight, it has been a big hullabaloo. And if I was Doja, I would be so sick of it. I would be so sick of it. I would be so sick of it. Um, the other thing is there are people who really dislike Lori because they feel that she is misogynistic. She targets women. Um, I don't know if I'm not going to say Lori has never done a video on a man, but I'll say in the time I've been subscribed to her, I haven't seen one. Um, and I get that. I get that critique. I 100% get that critique. I don't think Lori is being misogynistic, but one could argue it's misogynistic because it's playing into the misogyny that we hold as a society, you know, all that, all that, all that, all that. Yeah, I get that. And so people who dislike Lori for that reason, I get it. It it's not enough to bother me personally, but I understand. You brought this shit on yourself, bitch. So let's go. Yeah. Anyway, continuing. This bitch starts talking about how <laughs> So I put on the talking about rhinoplasty. Her example is a picture of me from twenty fourteen. In twenty fourteen I wasn't shit. In twenty fourteen I had little to no money. I was depending on boyfriends to buy me food. I was eating eggs and oatmeal. Eggs and oatmeal, bitch. I was eating Chick-fil-A, eggs, oatmeal, Taco Bell, fucking all types of short ribs, all types of shit. I was thick. And I got a picture of myself in 2014. It's a head-on photo. The second photo that she- Wait, I'm sorry. I saw one of the chat people being like, LOL, Jack Skellington. I don't think Lori looks like Jack Skellington. I think Lori looks fine. She looks like a nice looking mature woman. That's what Lori looks like to me. Um, there's a cat. It's obviously just upset right now. She's putting next to it. Rightfully so. Right. Like here's another thing I want to comment on. Um, right now there's this zeitgeist of like being upset means you're not, you're not valid. You know, like we say things like <laughs> stay mad, <laughs> go off sis. <laughs> like, Oh, you really mad, huh? Like it's just, it gives this feeling that like, if somebody's upset, then their points are not valid for some reason. And I disagree with that. You can be upset and make valid points at the same time. You can be reasonably upset with something like you can be mad and it makes sense for you to be mad or you should be mad. Like, like I don't, I, I no longer, I no longer buy into this idea that being upset means you're not valid. I, I think Doja Cat, so when, when you hear me say, well, Doja's really mad, she's really upset, I'm not dismissing her. I believe she's 100% valid in her feeling. It's a picture of me from 2020. 
Now, I don't really know math like that. I dropped out of school. I'm not very good at numbers. But I was much older. You can guess 2014, 2020. I don't know how fucking old I was. That's a big fucking gap. And a lot of drugs. I'm drugs. A lot of alcohol. <laughs> I'm on drugs, I guess, yeah. I smoked a lot of weed in 2014. So let's start there. A lot of weed. A lot of fucking alcohol. A lot of shit like that does things to your body. I'm not even reading the chat. I'm rapid fire right now. Alcohol, weed. So people are saying, you know, healthy diet and healthy lifestyle and this and that and being happy and no longer depressed. That doesn't affect what your nose looks like. I personally don't see the change in her nose that y'all are seeing, okay? And y'all are using edited, photoshopped, promotional photo shoot pictures to prove that she changed her nose. Stop it. Use regular pictures. Use herself with no makeup and no filter on. And when I look at pictures of Doja with no makeup and no filter on, her nose looks the same as when she was little. Now, here's the, I don't, I, I didn't watch Lori's video, so I don't know if Lori said that Doja did a nose job rhinoplasty or if, you know, people do these injectables in their nose that make it look like you had your nose done, but you didn't. And so, and that's one of the things that celebrities do. No, I didn't get a nose job, but you did, you did put the silicone, whatever you, you injected the whatever's. You like you can inject something to soften, you can inject something to harden. You you did you went on your coffee break and you did the injection. Technically not a nose job, so you're going to say I didn't get a nose job. You know, celebrities do stuff like that. This is why I appreciate channels like Lori. This is why I appreciate Lori's channel because I want to know the real tea. And it's not Listen. I personally I feel some kind of way about celebrities who blatantly lie, right? Kylie Jenner is an example of someone who blatantly lied. I don't get love for Larry Bit trick. Yes, you do. You get lip filler. Why are you lying? Why are you blatantly lying? I don't like the blatant lies. But I don't think you have to disclose everything. Like you can you don't have to disclose the exact people say that you look different. What what exactly did you do to look different? I don't think you have to answer. It would be nice. It would be really great. It would be nice. It would be, you know, you're looking out for us. You're looking, you're looking out for the mental health of everybody and the fair perception of the human image. It would be nice, but as a person, you you don't need to hold, you don't have to hold yourself to that. You don't have to. You don't have to. Um... So some people feel like this is what Doja Doja is, you know, doing that celebrity game right now. And the people who don't believe her, you know, you don't believe her. I personally, I just didn't see, I don't, I don't see the change in her now. So I totally believe her. I don't, and I don't think she's playing no <laughs> little Kim dance game. You know what I'm saying? I don't think she's doing that right now. Need all that shit can fuck with your body. Depression. Things like that can really fuck with your body, can fuck with your physical form. I was eating marinara and bread every day. That was the beginning of my depression, I remember. I that's like, that's why. And my body was very different. I was, I was puffy, I was sad, I was mm. fucked up in 2014. And this dumbass bitch wants to put a side-by-side -side photo of me from when I was- I just want to say, I totally, I totally know what that's like. Just last year. <sighs> yeah. Last year. I was in a really bad place, like literally <laughs> a bad place. And I was just eating. I just ate what made me feel good. I was eating ice cream. On, I was eating ice cream every day. Pos I was just eating. Or I was eating water burger. 1,500 calories right before bed. Because I felt like I have nothing else in life. <laughs> I, have nothing that make, I have nothing that makes me feel good in life. Now that I'm in literally a better place, I brought the ice cream from the from the bad place. I brought that ice cream. I haven't touched that ice cream. Like all of a sudden, I don't I don't want ice cream. I have no desire to eat ice cream. Actually, after this, I'm gonna go throw it out. After this, actually. But anyway, I'm just saying I know what that's like. It sucks. A feeling. I was depressed, puffy, unhealthy, unhappy. I'm still drinking. That doesn't mean shit. 
Suck my dick. 2014 to 2020, me now, I... See what I'm saying? So earlier I said, I noticed that you're drinking every line. And her indulgence response to me would be, suck my, suck my D. <laughs> Fair enough, you know? I eat like a goddamn bunny. I eat like a fucking goddess. I eat like an angel. I drink like a, like a 1920s fucking whatever, gangster or something, you know, from Atlantic City. But that's besides the point. I don't know. Personally, I think that means something. I don't know what it means. I don't know what it means. But I think it means something. Maybe you eat like a goddess, and so this is your only chance to to be bad. I don't know, but personally, it's just something I pick up on. I don't know. I don't know. Like, literally, I don't know. I just notice it. Um, and she, obviously, she notices it as well because she's bringing it up. I'm watching a lot of a uh, boardwalk empire anyway um i'm confused i'm confused why you think your logic lies in a side-by-side -side photo of someone from 2014 to 2020 in order to judge whether they had a rhinoplasty or not fuck out of here bitch you have no idea what you're talking about you have no idea that i had no fucking makeup artist i was doing my own makeup i was learning how to do my own makeup and i wasn't very good at it and we can get into details and things like how i had my eyeliner was thicker and so it covered most of my eyelid space plus the puffiness plus everything else we can get into that i don't really feel like it i kind of just did i guess but the point is, you're dumb, you're blind, and you're dumb, and your whole shit is fucked up. And if I could tear your whole empire down, I would. I think that you're so, you're an ill-mannered, less than smart person. And congrats. This insult, I think is totally fair. Okay. I agree, like, going in on somebody's looks, usually not necessary, but we're if we're talking about the content that this person is producing, I think it's totally fair to say, I think you're dumb. As evidenced by your content. <laughs> I think that's totally fair. Why can't she say that? Why can't she say that? She's, and I don't think she said it in like a very, you know, I don't think she said it in a vile, very disrespectful way. Like, why can't, why can't you say, why can't she say that about somebody who is, that she feels is lying on her? I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. Because I think that's totally fair to say. Congratulations on that. I feel bad for you. Cheers. Listen. It's so sad. It's sad. I'll, I'll tell you first. And none of you guys have to believe me. I'm not even reading the fucking chat. Because it doesn't matter whether you believe me or not. The point. Why are you playing music that loud? What I'm saying. Okay. So she she's aware that people won't believe her. Okay. Is I've lost a lot of weight, yeah? And you want to know what I did in the last couple of weeks? I went to a surgeon a few weeks ago for the first time. I've never spoken to a surgeon. I never looked into that. I've always said, oh, I wish my titties were higher. Or I wish I had perkier titties. This, that, blah, 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 blah. And so I wanted to go in. I scheduled an appointment. And he told me. He said to me, in order for you to get a boob lift, is what I wanted. I wanted to staple my titties to my chin. Okay? So I wanted him to staple my titties to the top of my hairline. I wanted them shit so high up I couldn't see him past the clouds. Mm. So I went and he told me. I see that you smoke. And I said, yes. And he said, he said, you're going to have to quit three weeks prior to you getting your titties done. He didn't say it verbatim like that because that's kind of aggressive. But the fact that he told me I had to smoke, what do you think that I would do? Because a lot of bad things can happen to me. You think I would sacrifice my fucking brand? You think that I would keep smoking after my titties? It, before, I've been on live every other fucking, uh, you know, month or so. It doesn't work that way. You cannot be smoking and getting your tits done and fucked with. You need to take care of your body if you're going to get surgery. And that's that. That's all. That's how it works. There's okay, so I'm guessing Lori also said that Doja got work done on her breasts. Uh, Lori, I got to clock you for that one. Absolutely not. <laughs> Listen, I'm I'm a Doja fan, okay? I pay attention to Doja's body. Doja did not do a damn thing to, to them, to them itty-bitties. Itty <laughs> I'm not calling them itty-bitties. I wanted to say bitties to the bitties because I don't want to say the T word. <laughs> but um Doja didn't do a damn thing to her biddies. Lori, what are you talking about? That's one of the things that I love about Doja's style is how she how she changes what her body looks like depending on the clothes. I appreciate I like it. I like that in some outfits her biddies are hanging low 
in some outfits her biddies are giving cleavage to the to the chin uh i i like that sometimes the outfit makes the biddies look small i like that sometimes the outfit makes the biddies look big um i like I like how she makes them look so different depending on the mood that she wants to create, the style, the song. I love that. I love it. I love it. Um, you can't be versatile with your biddies if you did work on them. You, it just doesn't. When you get worked on on your biddies, they, they like that. They, it's like, They, they there, okay? You not shifting, changing. <laughs> so, Lori, that was that was a mistake, Lori. You, mm-mm. No, I'm, no, absolutely not. Listen, y'all, people gonna try to argue with me about the damn nose thing, but you cannot argue with me about her biddies. Absolutely not. <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> someone's gonna be like ew you you pay attention to you pay attention to yes I pay I pay attention to the whole damn package I'm that that I'm a fan I am a fan I'm paying attention to all the things (laughs) there's people who don't take care of their body and they go and they do it and they get lucky or they fucking or they don't and things go really bad but me I have a fucking thing to look after right now so do I really want to do I need to think about that I don't I've never done anything in my fucking body you know the fakest thing about me is my eyelashes hair and motherfucking nails I'm just so upset. I can't fuck. Are you okay, Miss Doji? Yes, I'm fine. Let me rant. Anyway, this dumbass bitch talking about I have a fucking rhinoplasty. My nose is the same goddamn nose. And it doesn't matter. I waste my breath saying that. Yeah, this is the same fucking nose. Really don't and someone's body changes in five years. It does, if you know anything about growing up. You stupid bitch. Fuck out of here. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Anyway, moving on. Right, is after any changes to it. The photo. You're welcome for the clout, bitch. Originally had. But I, I'm going to stand up for my fans. I'm going to stand up for what the fuck I, I came into this industry doing absolutely as you should okay and people are like she said that it's about her brand her nobody thinks nobody cares if doja cat is natural or not it was only one song that she talked about body positivity you're not a fan the people who say that are not fans you're not a fan of course you don't think about body when you think of doja because you don't think of doja you don't care about doja us fans we do and that is a like I just mentioned that the way that she can change her body depending on the outfit and the fact that it's her natural body that is something that means something to me it adds it adds a je ne sais quoi to the artistry that I'm absorbing yes it is it is a part of her brand you would know that if you're a fan if you're not a fan you don't know that and you don't care and you shouldn't care so don't comment on it that just made me mad when someone's like that's not a part of your brand yes it is actually yes it is (laughs) to the fans not to you who don't give a damn and even to some even to a lot of the non-fans it's a point of discussion when she gets interviewed they talk about they talk about oh wow you didn't get work done on your body they, it's a thing it is actually a thing especially for women especially for women you kidding me no 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 people are really playing dumb people are really playing like nobody cares <laughs> nobody thinks about when it comes to women's body people care like Doja Cat is losing weight because she's exercising and people are throwing a hissy fit over it. People super give too much of a damn about your body when you're a woman in the spotlight. They do in, in a weird way. Which is being cool with my body. I never really liked it to be honest. I thought my body looked like fucking crazy and shit. Like I felt good on certain days. Some days I felt fat fucking I didn't like the way I looked, but whatever. Everybody has their days. That's fine. Why is that music so fucking loud? Chill. Anyway, no, the music is not coming out the mirror. I wish it did. So anyway, moving on. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, this bitch starts talking about lipo and shit. Have I considered lipo? Yes. Yeah. Lori, I need to see. Somebody needs to upload this video. Lori, you you think Doja Cat did lipo? Did you know that you can completely change the way your body looks without even losing? 
Like the scale will still be the same and your body will look so different. I'm experiencing it right now. <laughs> like, I'm like, oh my gosh, how do I have abs? But I still weigh exactly the same way I weighed when I had no muscles. Um, you, Lori, you think Doja did liposuction? Do you know that, um... Well, listen, I guess there's a surgeon who will do whatever, but I wanted to do stuff to my arms because I just felt like my arms were too big. I've always felt that way. I always felt like my arms were too big. Y- y'all, if you go look at pictures of me, I don't know if I have pictures of me. I really wish one of these days I will be. Listen, one of these days I will be an Instagram baddie. I really want to be one of these people who stay taking photos of themselves. One of these days I will be. One of these days I'll be like, I look so fly all the time, baby. But for now, I'm I'm not. I I have never been. But if you find a photo of me, you will look at my arms and you'll be like, ooh, Yudi, what in the F are you talking about? Because every time I go in for a consultation to go get something done to my arms, they're like, do what? Guinea. Where? Do what to, to what's where? Excuse me? Do you even have, when you shake it like that, is there any jiggle even? Like, they look at me like I'm stupid. I, that ass. They look at me like I am crazy, stupid, like I have a, a problem. <laughs> when I'm like, can you do, can we reduce the size of my arms? Can we do something? Can we suck something out of my, they look at me somehow, okay? Um, Doja's arms were similar. Her arms are skinnier because she lost weight, but the size that they were, I felt personally, just based on my experience, I felt like people would not want to touch her arms because sometimes you can be so, you feel like you're big, but you're actually too small to get a procedure done. Um, that's another thing that happened to me. I wanted to do a fat transfer and I was too, I was too small. Anyway, the point is, Lori, you think Doja did lipo? Like, where do you think that she did the lipo? Because her body shape, her body is still the same shape. It's less, it's just less chub. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't, hmm. Lori, you got some explaining. Lori. Every, sometimes I watch Lori's videos and I just, dis, I do disagree. I do. I am like, I think you're reaching. And I feel like if I saw this Doja Cat video, I would have been like, girl, this is a big reach. <laughs> all the time, bro, all the whole, my whole fucking life. I've been like, oh, this is weird. Like my body, my, my hips have always been small. My ass is big. I was like, this is unproportionate. Like I need like a leveling. Like I like having, a, I like juicy asses, but if it could just be a little bit more proportionate or this or that. And I'd always look in the mirror and be like, eh, I don't like that. Eh, I don't like that. And I would think about lipo. And this bitch was talking about how I got, how I definitely got lipo, how I definitely fucking, how, how I got all this shit done. And the fact that I had to find this video while I'm drunk really upsets me. That pisses me the fuck off, bro. So people are like, no, she didn't say definitely. Lori always says that it's just speculation and <laughs> speculation. The tone with which Lori speaks is so it does sound definitive. It's very much the people who are just hanging on the speculation thing. Y'all know this guy named Tucker Carlson, right? He's like, he's a public figure, a news figurehead for Fox News. Tucker Carlson, if you record him, if you get him on record, he'll say, my show is not a factual evidence-based news reporting show. My show is for entertainment purposes only. That is what he'll say on the record. But when you watch his show, that's not what you get. You don't feel like you're watching entertainment. You feel like you're watching somebody who's supposed to be telling you factual information. Right? That's what you get. Um, and you know that. that. That's the thing. I don't respect playing dumb. I don't respect it. Actually... 
that has to be, that's probably my number one pet peeve in life is when you're playing dumb. You don't know Lori, the way she speaks in the videos, she's speaking with a level of authority. Excuse me. She's not him and high and she's not unsure of herself. She feels very sure of what she believes and she speaks in that way. And when people speak that way about their beliefs, it's much easier to persuade others to believe the same thing. Hence, Doja is speaking out against the video because Doja is saying those things are incorrect. She does not want people believing incorrect things about her body. It makes me so mad because you know what that does? That has 200 thousand people who may be my fucking fans looking at that shit going oh she's fake so i need to get my shit done oh if i want to look like that i can't i can't look like that or i can't be the best version of myself right because when doja did this her weight loss it inspired me shoot it inspired me to get off my behind um you know it, is, it, it inspired me and when you find out that something that is, that is inspiring you to you know to do something good for yourself eat right exercise all that and you find out oh they had some help it makes you feel like then I need help too, but I'm poor. Huh, this sucks to be me. That's what it makes you feel like. And there's nothing wrong with having pride and saying, actually, you can do it too because I did it. Like there, there's nothing wrong in having pride in that. There's nothing wrong with getting help if you need help, but there's also nothing wrong in feeling like, yeah, I, I did that. I did that. I put in the work. I can't lose weight. I can't do this. I can't change myself. I can't make myself look better in a natural, healthy way. Not to say surgery isn't a good thing. Go do your fucking thing. You want your surgery? That's fine. That's okay. I support that. It's okay. But I'm saying the fact that this bitch who is verified is talking about she did get this done. She did do this. I think she did this. I think she did that. I don't give a fuck what you think. The fact that you have this platform and you're showing my fans my whole brand. Right. It doesn't matter that it's what you think or it's what you believe. You are now hearing that it's not true. What you thought is false. So eventually you'll hear that Lori took the video down, but. You came for my brand. You came for my whole brand and you're fucking with me. Wrong. Yeah, that's part of the brand. It is part of the brand. The fact that her, her natural weight loss is now part of the brand. And I don't want to hear people who don't give a damn about Doja Cat talking about, <laughs> I don't, I didn't. I didn't know it was part of the brand. Well, good for you that you didn't know. I am so salty. <laughs> I am so salty. I am so salty on the non-Doja fans. <laughs> but I am fans of both of these women. I am fans of Doja and of Lori. So I feel like playing both sides here. Bitch. Wrong bitch. And I'm not saying that I won't get surgery done. I'm not. Maybe in the future. Maybe when my shit starts hanging low in a drastic way. Do Maybe. your biddies sure. hang low? Do they wobble but to right and fro? You better fucking live in this reality, bitch. Because whatever reality you're living in is fucking with me. It's fucking with me. I don't like. I don't like the way you're coming for my brand. This is who I am. This is who the fuck I am. I got fucking. I got my shit jiggles. And guess what? Sometimes titties look different when your top is tighter. Sometimes titties look different when your top is too big. So let's talk about that. And your side by side of my titties when I was wearing a fucking American Apparel jump. Uh, what is it? Like a bodysuit that was a little too big and it wasn't. There was no support. A side by side of that compared to something with me in a bikini. Me in a bikini. Do you know what a bikini does? It's adjustable. It ties around the neck, around the body. So you can take the part that goes around the body, hike it up here. Top of the back, take it, tie it tight. And it pulls the titties up to here. You see what happens when I hold my titties up? That's what they look they like. Look when huge, I let them go, right? they go down. So I'm confused as to what the <laughs> fuck you're going off of. Your logic is trash. Your whole fucking brand is trash. I love, once, I've always had small bitties. But, you know, once I got into my mid-twenties, they started, they developed a little bit more. You know, you become more womanly. Once you get into that age. And so I started to have enough fat in my biddies that I was now able to play around with the imagery. And it's so much fun. I don't know. I love, I love it. It's fun. It looks, it's so cool. You can just change, you can change how you look. Like, how is that not cool? Like you can naturally change how you look. That's just so cool to me as a woman. Everything you do is trash. And bitch, if you want to talk to me, talk to me. Ask me if I got something done. Have the fucking gumption. I will not have you come for me like that. I do not like you. And if you'd like to speak like an adult, I'd really love to. I don't know if I'd be very good at it, but how fucking dare you? Lori actually should take Doja up on the offer. Lori, you really should. Because as of now, Lori, your channel is just you and your thoughts. 
imagine if you can actually have a conversation with the person you're talking about and dissecting. That's like, that will take you to a different level, Lori, and I'm here for it. Stupid bitch. Looking like a fucking Upset. Halloween pumpkin. Up. Ridiculous. Upset. My point about the rhinoplasty was also not really finished. When I said that, when she said that my nose was done, and I said that I didn't have a makeup artist, a makeup artist can do a lot to your nose. Also, the comparison that she's using to prove her point is a picture of me when I won a fucking VMA or something. I won an award when my, I think it was my first award. So the camera is different from the camera that was used. That's some, that is a fair criticism of Lori. She uses stupid pictures. She, she, girl, I'm so sorry, but you do. You Sometimes you do, and Lori will be like, I know that this is a photo at an award show um, where, you know, it, she, she has a lot of makeup on, but even putting into consideration the effects of makeup, I still believe that blah, 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 blah. Like, girl, no, you need to, you need to find better pictures. I'm so sorry, but you do you can say you put into account the photoshop but you know they edit those pit you know those awards ceremony pictures they edit those um you need to get better pictures but you need to get more and better pictures because what i what i would do i would give Lori the benefit of the doubt and i would be like surely you have seen more than just these two pictures like i'm sure you looked at way more pictures but but also, I don't know if you did. If you put more pictures on the screen, then I know you did. <laughs> like, you literally did. I think this is a fair criticism. You need to pick better pictures more and more of them. Um, and not, like, so many years apart. You You especially if the person is under the age of 20, you know, like, especially if they're under like 23, 24, 25, like you cannot take a picture of somebody when they're 18 and then compare it to when they're uh, 28 and be like, there is a huge difference in the cartilage fold of the blood. Like you can't, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> Please do not do that. You know, your face, even as you get older, like, like, beyond your 20s as you get older you know your your head I don't know how to describe it I don't know how to explain it but this is like one of the ways that I can tell that somebody's no longer super young anymore like you can just tell like your head your head I don't know if your head gets bigger or or just the bones just become a little bit more defined or something but you your face your face kind of changes again like I know people are like that doesn't explain the nose your nose doesn't change. I don't think Doja Cat's nose changed send me a link if you for the people who want to die on this hill that Doja did something to her nose send me some links or direct me to some place because I'm a fan of saying google it but when I Google it, I see that her nose didn't change. Sorry, I'm like, okay, that's what I see. But anyway, I agree with this point. Like, Lori, you need to pick better pictures, please. In that in the other photo of me with a different, with a bigger nose, with my original nose. Anyway, I don't like any of these fucking dumbass surgery bitches. They're fucking annoying. There's one girl that I like. There's one girl that I like. The girl that I think she's talking about that she likes, I think. This is my speculation. <laughs> speculation. Speculation. I think she's referring to Stephanie Lange. Great. I don't know why my computer is running slow. I'm going to restart it after this. But okay. Stephanie Lange. She also likes to dissect plastic surgery. But she, the way she does it is so much more empowering. She more focuses on the reality of the celebrity rather than, okay, what did they get done? Um, so for example, this video is showing how there are celebrities and she touches on these nuances. Like when we talk about 
why do we give a damn so much about women's bodies? Why, like, we're talking about plastic surgery and it's only women. She she ta- she discusses the nuances as well, which I really, really appreciate. And so, for example, this video, Reacting to Body Goals. So this video was about different celebrities who are considered body goals. You know, like Rihanna, J- Jennifer Lopez in her 50s and her body looks bomb.com. But she shows pictures of them candidly, you know, where it's not their best lighting. It's not it's not a, it's not like the time to get snatched. It's like just regular time. And they have things on their body that everybody has. Rihanna has folds. JLo has folds. So, so and so has cellulite. The skinny people get cellulite. Oh my gosh. And I think it's so needed because even my partner, my partner, he is, he is the kind of person who wants to look perfect. Okay. Um, he, I'm like, you don't need to, but whatever. And so, um, he was like, Oh, I don't like cellulite. Um, I think like, I was playing something. It's almost like, yeah, I have cellulite and there are people who have it. There are people who don't have it and that's good. And then there's people who have it. That's good. He was like, oh, did that person say that cellulite is good? I'm like, yeah. Oh, I disagree. I'm like, there's something wrong with cellulite. It's normal. Yeah. But if you're overweight, I'm like, pause. So first of all, here's a biological issue. You, you don't under, I don't mean to drag Bay under the right. Don't mean to drag Bay, but you people are ignorant he he thought you get cellulite because you're overweight or obese and it's like actually no you know there are olympic athletes have cellulite you know like people you know women with like less than 18 percent body fat still have cellulite you know, like you like cellulite is not a visceral fat issue um cellulite is a skin like it's, it's your skin It's just the, it's the way your skin is attaching itself to that layer of your body. He's like, he was like, you could lose weight. I'm like, yeah, you can lose weight. And then the cellulite, it will just be smaller cellulite because you're, you're now a smaller person, but you will, you will still have the cellulite. Like it's nor it's normal. You can't get like you. The only way you can get rid of it is like if you do some kind of laser laser procedure or something. Like it's not it's it that's like being like, oh my gosh. You know, if if you just ate right and exercised and, and did your skincare routine, you wouldn't have wrinkles. No, you you will still have wrinkles. You can use the best cream in the world, you'll still you are still gonna get a wrinkle. <laughs> you can eat the best diet in the world, you can still get a gray hair. Like it's just a normal function of the human body and we live in such an edited world that like that people don't understand these things like you really think people don't have cellulite just because you're seeing edited photos of them where they edit out the cellulite so I appreciate people like Stephanie Lunch, who are reminding people, we're human beings, we're mammals. We're actually animals. Did you know we're actually animals? Some people actually don't know that we're animals and we are mammals. And that's just, you know, the natural way that things go when you're an animal, when you're a mammal, when you're a red-blooded um, organism. Hot, what was it called? Hot blooded? I forgot. I forgot all them biological terms. I need to retwist us. But anyway, um, I think this is who she's referring to. I could be wrong. I definitely, I like, honestly, actually, I have no idea who she's referring to, but this is who comes to mind as somebody that I think Doja Cat would like. You see this one here? The truth about skin texture, you know, showing, you know, this is a model. She looks great in this modeled photograph that she was paid for. This is what her skin actually looks like, you know? And I think, I think I would love if she started expanding it into YouTube as well, because like people who do these makeup tutorials, I used to watch these makeup tutorials like Tati Westbrook and, you know, all these other people, Jeffree Star, all these people, um, what's her name? Nikki tutorials. And I'll be like, oh my gosh, like 
when they put the foundation, it looks so perfect. How does it look so perfect? Like, how come my foundation doesn't look like that? And I had no idea. I, f- I felt stupid. I felt sheepish. I had no idea these people were using a filter on their YouTube videos. I had no, I was like, wait a second. Like, and they don't disclose it. They don't say, okay, guys, I'm using a filter. They don't say it. Yes, even Nikki Tutorial, like, even the su- even the sweetest, the sweetest people that you're like, oh, my God, I love them so much. They don't disclose that they're using a filter on their video. And that's why when you apply makeup, it doesn't look like perfection like theirs. I'm like, oh, my God, I was duped. Oh, my God, I was duped. I was really out here feeling bad about my makeup abilities because I was comparing myself to people with undisclosed filters. So I think, I think I love these kind. I love this type of channel, especially Stephanie's. I think her channel is very empowering and, um, definitely check her out. Okay. Back to reacting to Doja. That shit makes me so fucking mad, bro. So mad. I hate that shit. My fucking feet are sweaty. Disgusting. Disgusting. I'm disappointed. And I'm really just pissed off. Stupid bitch. Moving on. Shaved inward. Face swept up. Now looking closer at a photo of Doja. And she talking about my eyebrows. Bitch, you used a picture of me with no eyebrows compared to a picture of me with my eyebrows drawn on. She said that I had an eyebrow lift. Some shit like this. Yeah, I, uh, Lori, this is another stupid thing. Doja Cat shaves her eyebrows off. Like, no, I sometimes, I just feel like these, some of these things that Lori is supposedly saying in the video, I'm just like, Lori, there's no way you got fooled. Lori, are you kidding me? Lori, Doja Cat shaves off her eyebrows and she draws them in to look higher. Are you effing kidding me? I I just I like I kind of just can't believe it. I'm like, no way, Lori. Did Lori, Lori? And then the comments, people are like, come on, Lori's not stupid. She, you know, she she does this for a living now. You know, it's her living to clog plastic surgery. And that's why I'm like, I kind of I can't believe it. I'm like, girl, no way, Lori. One of these, every black girl knows, every girl who wears wigs knows, if you take the face, pull it up, put the wig on, take the face, pull it, put the wig down, it pulls the face this way. I didn't have a fucking... That's the other thing too, because I saw people posting pictures of Doja with her natural hair and how her eyebrows and her eyes look different than when she's wearing wigs. I'm like, are you serious? You know when you braid your hair, it gives you an instant lip, even, even... All of you people who don't do braids and don't do wigs, if you've ever done a high bun, you know exactly, you know, like, I'm like, no way. There's no way you got fooled by um, Doja having braided hair and wigs and shaving her eyebrows and drawing in her eyebrows higher. How? No way. Lori. I don't want to believe it. I don't want to believe it. And at first I'm like, maybe it's a cultural competency thing, you know, because Lori's a white woman. But I'm like, no, you. it doesn't matter that she's white. She is used to looking at celebrities. And so cel- uh, it's not only black celebrities who be putting on wigs or doing, you know, cornrows to lay down their wig. It's not just black people. If you're looking at celebrities, then you know about wigs. And Lori be looking at a lot of celebrities. So I'm like, no, that's not the reason either. It's not a cultural incompetency thing because this is this is something that's actually not, that's part of the celebrity culture is to wear wigs. I just kind of, I don't, girl. Jay, stay ready. Mm, I didn't have a, a wigologist on my team to help me figure out what the fuck I was doing. This is a trash ass photo from 2019. And this is a photo from 2020 of me at the Grammys. 2019, I wasn't at the Grammys. 2019, I was still doing radio tours. There's a picture of me with no eyebrows. I thought it was chic and cute, whatever. My eyes were rounder and I did my wig myself. The fuck? Anyway. Anyway, this bitch wants to compare it to a picture from the Grammys where my shit was pulled back and I did my eyebrows different. I threw my eyebrows up to lift my face. Clearly, your eyes are broken and the biggest surgery you will benefit from is getting your eyes done. <laughs> they are broken. I don't even know if anybody can save you from that. Your vision is fucked. You need some glasses is what you need. You don't need a fucking surgeon. You've done enough. 
And everyone can tell that from first I'm glance. Dead. You need some glasses. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Daft bitch. Oh my god. Don't take any advice from a bitch named Lori. Shout out to all the Lori's out there. This is a bad Lori. This bitch's name is Lori. Lori. 90210 ass bitch. I kind of just came for myself, but anyway. I'm looking at the comments. Moving on. Shaving or chin. This is the best photo of the change I could find with her. She thinks I had eyelid surgery too. Eyelids. Around her nasal labial folds as well. If you look at her jawline, her jawline has been lifted and tightened. No, Weight no, 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 no. This is Lori. Okay, I'm so disappointed in you, Lori. Again, I'm a Doja fan. I'd be paying attention to things. And Doja Cat's jawline is one of the things I pay attention to every single time. Here's the reason why. Doja Cat's jawline is, in my opinion, unconventional. Um... I truly believe I would not be surprised at all. I would not be surprised if Doja has experienced somebody coming up to her and recommending that she add filler or do something to her jawline. Her jawline is not conventional. Her jawline. Okay, for example, I'll use my jawline, for example. I think... Nikki's jawline, I think, is like the perfect example of what I think is considered the conventional beauty jawline, Nicki Minaj, okay? So my jawline, just imagine it's a little bit more sharp. <laughs> imagine my jawline was sharper right there, and it, it would be looking like Nicki Minaj's jawline. But you see how, like, like it's broad, okay? I don't know how else to explain it. Doja Cat's jawline, like, you would have to cut off half of my jaw to to get Doja's jawline. Okay, so that's what I mean when I say it's not conventional. Her jawline is slim. I, I hope y'all know what I'm talking about. You can Google some pictures. Um, and I love that. <laughs> I love that because, because her slim jawline allows her I don't know if you can see my mouse her slim jawline when you look at her side profile it's because she has that slim jawline that her face is able to be triangular okay and that is a cute that's that's the aesthetic I, do do you know what I'm saying Nicki Minaj has a broad jawline, so Nicki Minaj's face is not like a slim triangle like that. You 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 get what I'm saying? Like my face, I don't have a slim jawline, so my face is big. I do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so anyway, I just always felt like I'm. There's got to be some freaking douche out there plastic surgeon or whoever because some of these plastic surgeons it, they're like artists and they're and they like they see a specimen that they want to work on they're like oh yeah oh yeah you know what I mean I get it I get the feeling but I'm sure there's got to be this there's, there's got to be some douche out there who tried to approach Doja talking about I can fix your jawline I can give you I can give you a stronger jawline and I always look at Doja's jaw because I always want to see if it's something she's insecure about, if it's something that she would change. And I'm just always looking to see, I hope she didn't change. I hope she doesn't change. I hope she doesn't change. I hope she leaves it alone, leaves it alone. If anybody, like like I'm doing a prayer, if anybody is trying to talk Doja into doing anything to her jawline, please strike them, strike them down. <laughs> so Doja's jawline is something I always pay attention to. Lori, you've, you, you, are not paying attention, Lori. You're not paying attention. Doja did not do anything to her jawline. Um, yes, I think Doja Doja's jawline lo looked appeared a little bit more chubby back when she was more chubby. Uh, obviously, she lost weight, so it's a little bit more snatched. 
She lost weight. Her arms are more snatched. She lost weight. Her waist is more snatched. She lost weight. Her thighs have a little bit of a bigger thigh triangle gap. If you don't know what a thigh triangle gap, that's what I call this. Like when you're, this is your hoo-ha. My fingers are your hoo-ha and then my thumbs are your thighs and they touch each other. But you still have that gap there. I love that. I love that. I love it. I love it. It's so beautiful to me. And you, it increases when you lose weight. I just can't. Some of these things, Lori, I if I ever see this video, it's probably going to be the video that I disagree with her the most ever on. Lori. Now, all of these changes with weight loss is together point heavily at Doja having had a ponytail facelift around 2020. Now, all of these changes that I just mentioned. What's funny is she's calling it's called a ponytail facelift because it gives the effect of wearing a ponytail. But Doja's hair is practically in a ponytail when she's wearing wigs. So kind of makes sense that you would think she got a ponytail facelift, but but it's just the wig and hair. I believe are part of one procedure that is called the crazy thing is this is projection at, at its finest Ugh. you know when someone does something so much that they hate themselves for it they're like why did I do this why did I do this I didn't need to do this you there's know, no I going back there's nothing this. I can do so that there is now so there's there are people who are like Lori is doing this because she's insecure with her own self and blah 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 I I disagree um Lori is doing this because some celebrities need to get clocked Celebrities are doing procedures. Some of them lie about it. Um, or we just want to know. We just want to know. And that's why she's doing this. She personally loves plastic surgery herself. And she has done a lot of work on herself as well. So, I mean, the people who are trying to turn this into a, hey, you have low self-esteem type of thing. No, I think y'all are wrong. And I don't blame Doja for saying that right now because Doja does not know Lori. She doesn't watch her video. She doesn't know anything about Lori. She All she knows is that Lori made a video on her that was incorrect. But all you other people out there who, who do watch Lori, come on, y'all know better. Like, this is... It's just an annoying narrative. Talking about their escape from that horror, their escape from that living nightmare is to go at other people, acting like other people are dealing with the same pain that she's dealing with. It's exactly what's happening here. The fact that... And you know what? I don't commend myself at fucking all for the way that I've been talking for the last 10 minutes. I'm going to keep that same energy. I still don't like you. And I, I do feel sorry for you. So here she's starting to calm down, you know, and she's going to start saying, you know, I shouldn't be calling women the B word. And I, I, I am of that camp. I noticed that I even Klein it's also the same way. I am of that camp where I just feel like the, you know, B with an itch. I think it's misogynistic. I do. I think it's some, I think it's a word rooted in misogyny. It's kind of misogynistic. Um, I understand using it as a term, as a term of endearment, you know, th that's whatever. But when you're using it to insult, I feel, I feel misogynistic when I say it personally, I'm not saying I don't say it. I think even in this, even in this live stream, it's not a live stream, but I'm not editing this. I'm not editing this video. But even in this video, I think I said that. I think I said it. You know, I think I said trick. I used trick to replace the B word. It's out, out of habit, out of like colloquialism, but I don't want to say it. You know what I mean? I don't want, I don't want to say it um, because it does, I just feel dirty when I say it. But anyway, you're going to hear her. She's going to say, you know, I shouldn't have said that. Um, you know, I'm not behaving well. Um, but I definitely condone her right to be upset and angry with the video. I do. I shouldn't be saying bitch this and bitch that and fuck you and blah, blah, blah. And you stink. I shouldn't. I shouldn't be saying that. It's very hard to not say things like that when you're angry. So excuse me and drunk and drunk but i really don't like i really don't like it it's such a bad vibe it's such a bad look because it's so confident it's not a mistake she didn't make a mistake she's confident she's really going head first she's really going plastic first into this entire fucking debacle first. and i want you to know i want everyone to know that i will get this shit it, I, I wouldn't just watch this and get it removed i'm coming on live and i'm, I'm gonna tear the shit down one by one 
and then get that shit removed because I don't like my fans seeing that. Because my fans doesn't mean just everybody is everybody knows exactly what the fuck's going on. Not everybody. Some people are more gullible. Some people will think that I did all these yes. things. Blah 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 blah. blah. Yep. But the because some people are like, oh, Dojo, you shouldn't have said anything. We all know that you're natural. No, actually, we don't all know. D there are grown men who think, baby, there was this fo there was this this uh, PlayStation game that came out, and the, like the graphics are like super realistic, and so this guy zoomed in on a female character. The female character has peach fuzz on her on her face, peach fuzz. And the dude's like, can someone explain to me why this female has a beard? What kind of feminist agenda is this? Sir, women are human beings. Human beings are mammals. Mammals have hair and peach fuzz all over. We have peach fuzz. There are grown people who don't understand the human anatomy and human biology because we hyper edit everything so yes there are people who are gullible a lot of them a lot of people and so of course she has the right to respond and say the video that you may have watched is incorrect the truth is it's like why the fuck would i allow that under my exactly, nose, under my right. fucking under my table under my under what the fuck i'm doing why right Right. If you see some BS about you, why would you leave? If you have power to speak out against it, why would you not? Why would you not? The only reason you wouldn't is because if you're afraid, if you, you know, if you're afraid. But if you're not afraid, why would you not speak out against it? Why would you just leave BS to fester? I agree why with that. Why would I this. let people do that? Why would I, why would I let my fans be swayed like that? That's bullshit. Even if I did get hella shit done. I'd rather that shit not even be bro. Her just talking about me, just fuck that. And that's my brand. Fuck that. Fuck that. You know what's funny is a really close friend of mine knows a um knows a surgeon. Uh who's a, a friend of theirs. And the surgeon said that uh they saw pictures of me and they said her her nose is her nose is fake. That's not her nose. It's too perfect. This sounds really fucking cocky for me to repeat. It's not that cool of me to be saying that shit, but it's just funny how wrong. It's funny that even the most, someone can go to school for years, get the job of their dreams, and still be fucking wrong just by their eyesight. <laughs> I like my nose. I'm happy about my nose. I never felt like I needed to change my nose. And y'all, like, y'all need to remember Doja Cat is half white. Um, and I say that to say, because sometimes I wonder if, if people say things like that because they perceive Doja Cat to be a black person. And listen, um, Okay, how are we defining black? Are we do using the one drop rule? Are we going based off, you know, how she looks and perceived by society? Da, 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 da. I personally go based off how you look by society. Um, by society, she is considered black. But because we're considering, you know, we're acknowledging her blackness, people forget that there is also whiteness there. So I, sometimes I feel like people just feel like, you know, her her nose doesn't look like a black person's nose like no low-key I wonder I wonder if that is what some of these like the, maybe the plastic surgeon she's talking about is that what y'all actually mean do you actually mean her nose doesn't look like what you think a black person's nose should look like is that what you mean she's half white so she if there's some white people feature. <laughs> I don't even know what to call it. I don't know. But if there are some, Euro, you know, Western European features that you see on this person you're perceiving as black, that's that's why. Well, also, we have genetic variety, right? Like, black people are the most genetically diverse people on the face of the planet. But that aside don't be shocked that this black person has a feature that you associate with white Europeans because she's also part white. I just have to throw that. I sometimes I wonder, like sometimes I really think that's what people be saying. Like sometimes when I, when I hear people talk about a black woman got a nose job and she didn't, I feel like, Y'all just feel like her nose is too small to be black. Like, y'all just can't, y'all just cannot let a black woman live with a small nose. Like, I think, 
maybe that's what i think at least i i think that's a part of it i don't think that's the entirety of what they're basing their opinion on but i think that influences it there's nothing wrong with my nose i'll tell you all the things i'd like to change about my body i'd like to change my fucking i wish my calves weren't so i know you want to change your teeth and so now i've been looking at her teeth um She's she's going to claim that she hasn't done the veneers yet, but she has said publicly she wanted to change her teeth and she showed the crooked tooth. But the thing the tooth is so minuscule and the crookedness that I have I I can't even I can't even find it anymore. So <laughs> I don't know. But as of now, apparently she has not changed her teeth. Big I worked I, I uh, danced a lot when I was little and I had very active but big calves big big thighs and so I have a lot of trouble wearing certain things like I, I love thigh high boots are like the sexiest thing ever that's like my dream is to have like fucking thigh high boots that I could wear but nothing fits me I would do that but I can't if there's a way I could change that I would maybe maybe I get scared and pussy out right at the last minute but I'm not fucking I'm not out here doing surgery bro I don't I'm, I, this shit is beyond me that's another mindset it's not bad I'm not against it I just haven't found the courage to fucking do it but when bitches like it sorry when people like this go on YouTube and say shit about me and confirm it to hundreds of thousands of people, that's when they're going to get the, the bad side of me, bro. That's when they're going to deal with the worst possible fucking outcome of me. I'm not fucking with you, bro. Don't fuck with me. Don't fuck with my people. Don't fuck with my fans. Don't do that. All these fucking people in the comment section, the first one is like a very obviously devoted fan of mine. And they're like, I can definitely tell that she had work done after she made a big. Would they have said that? Would they have said that regardless of her? It's just so fucking, it's crazy. And then you know what it does? You, you know what, can I tell you something? Can I tell you something that all the people that really love me and really appreciate me are here because they enjoy what I do, whatever the content they need, whatever. You can be not into getting surgery done and still look good. Like, my point, my point is don't lose hope. I never, I always wanted to invest my money in fucking shit that mattered. You know, I splurge and I have fun here and there. I, I buy shit for my friends and I enjoy myself. But like at the same time, I'm not gonna go in and do something as drastic as that unless I really fucking believed in it. And I feel like if I did that, y'all would be able to tell just pissed me the fuck off bro because I, I i dealt with so much like shit like, looking at myself when my fucking dude i would look at my body and be like it's not right it's not right and then the next day i'd be like it's right it's good it looks good this dude the other thing people are saying is they felt like doja you don't need to take this so personal Lori makes videos on all these celebrities i think that's so unfair it doesn't matter that Lori talks about other celebrities too she made a video zooming in and nitpicking doja cat Doja Cat has the right to respond to that video. Like, I think that's so wrong. Um, people saying you're just triggered because it's true. Or maybe she's triggered because it's pointing out things that she's insecure about on herself. Like any, I don't, like, I don't understand. If you understand this mindset, please, please explain it to me in the comments. I don't understand these people who like cannot comprehend how, nitpicking at somebody's body would upset that person that you're nitpicking like i i guess there's people out there who who wouldn't care maybe um but i know and i feel pretty i feel pretty confident in in myself even with the things that i'm insecure about but if somebody like zoomed in on my face and was like look at that do you see that line right under her eye <laughs> Okay, like she's totally aging. She needs to put some Botox in that. I would feel some kind of way. I, I wouldn't be like, I don't think I would be like, oh my God, upset. But I would feel like, I would feel some kind of way. Like y'all, I just want to, do y'all not have like emotions? Like do y'all, <laughs> like you can say sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hear me all you want, but you you telling me you're not gonna have some kind of initial reaction at all i think it's totally perfectly understandable and normal for especially if you felt insecure about a certain aspect of your body to to feel hurt when somebody is zooming in and talking about it just talking about it people are also saying well Lori hill was so nice she's so sweet it doesn't matter it doesn't matter how sweet you are when you're nitpicking somebody's body. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you lie with a smile on your face or you lie with a frown. You're still lying or spreading a rumor or misconception. 
it doesn't matter that you said it in the sweetest voice possible and again this is just my speculation and it does not matter it's, if she did these plastic surgeries that's totally fine so please do not send any hate it doesn't matter you're still saying something about somebody's insecurity and on top of that it is not correct how is that hard for people to understand like I'm just baffled I'm like how do you not comprehend this I don't get it I'm spent I'm spent after that I'm fucking done that pisses me off this is that stage this, you don't know what the fuck this is if anybody gets fucking famous you get famous one day if you're watching this this is the shit that you have to go through this, this is the shit you have to deal with Some, somebody's gonna be like oh, why is her fucking lips bigger in this picture and like, it's how you deal with it that matters. I don't feel like I'm dealing with it in the best way right now, but I think it's okay. I think it's fair that I'm pissed off. I think it's fair that I'm mad just cause like, like I said, and I keep repeating myself, I, you know, I, my whole thing was like trying to accept myself. And then it turned into fucking me fucking eating well and going to rehearsal and my body's changing. I'm 26 and I'm 19 anymore. You know, it's changing and I accept it and I love it. As time goes on, I love it. Cause I'm learning how to take care of myself. I didn't, I didn't know how to take care of myself. But then when somebody comes and just tears that down, just says, you know, just completely discredits everything that you learned in the last seven or eight years of your fucking life. Completely shuts it down, tears it down, a complete stranger like that. And a stranger who has who has power, really. Who has a force. It can really, really has fuck with you, make you really over 300,000 subscribers. So you're welcome for the clout, but also I'm sorry for the clout as well. Because you're not going to look good after this. <clears throat> but mostly you're welcome because you're probably going to learn. So Lori... Um on her Instagram, she said that she took it down because it obviously Doja Cat is upset and, um, and you know, Lori's goal is never to upset anybody. So she took it down. I also saw she commented, she responded to one of my comments. She said that she's considering redoing the video, um, putting into consideration, you know, what Doja has said. I think you should, I think, here's my thing. There are people who are saying Lori shouldn't even have her channel. It should be shut down. I completely disagree with that. Are you kidding me? I 100% do not believe Lori should shut down her channel. Um, but, and I think she should redo the video. Putting into consideration what Doja has said. It, like you got to make a statement. I, I would, I do not want Lori to just move on like this didn't happen, which she might do. She might act like this didn't happen, but I think she will. I think she'll address it in some way. You need to address this, Lori. You, you have to address this. And I would appreciate if you took Dosha up on her offer to actually talk to her. Um, and if you do make the video, because listen, I think like, I don't, I'm against like, Oh, I'm not going to, I'm not going to talk about. So I talk about all, I talk about everyone except this one person because they roasted me. I don't like that. Like, I'm like, Oh, mm, so you a scary, so you a scary, you scary. <laughs> you really, you don't, you can't stand 10 toes. Like, that's how I feel. I, I, I feel like you, why can't you stand 10 toes in what you do? So I don't think you should avoid discussing Doja Cat, but now that Doja Cat has said what she said, now you can put that into consideration when you talk about, when you talk about her. So that's what I took from this. Um, the people are like, oh my gosh, I don't know if I can support Doja the same way. I'm just so appalled with her response. Um, were you really a fan? I'm sorry. You didn't know Doja is like this. You didn't know this about Doja. You're not, a, I don't think you're a real fan. So we're not losing anybody. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. The fandom is not losing anybody. If you're surprised that this is how Doja reacted. And I'm just saying, I'm just, I'm just saying, listen, I don't even watch Doja's live streams like that. I follow a uh, Doja cat fan accounts and stuff. So that's how I'm aware of them and see clips of them every now and then but I'm not like a fan enough that I'd be like oh they're just live let me watch I'm not like that right but I'm definitely a fan 
I definitely know this is how Doja acts. This is how she is. This is who she is. So the fact that you're like, oh my gosh, I just can't believe it. Then you weren't a fan anyway. So deuces. There was never a hello. You 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 were never part of the fandom. Low key, high key. Um, so that's one. Two. Uh, I'm with Doja in her reaction. I think how she reacted is within reason. Somebody's talking about you, spreading lies about your body and your face. 200 people are seeing it and believing it. You're reading the comments. People are really believing it. You pride yourself on having natural body and face and you discuss it. That is part of your brand to the fandom. I know some of y'all non-fans would be like, no, it's not. She only made one song about it. Good for you. (laughs) That's all you saw. Good for you. I think this was the appropriate amount of anger. And and she was drunk. I'm actually, I'm kind of impressed (laughs) that she had as much restraint as she did while drunk. There are other celebrities who, girl, let, let this be Cardi B. Child, let this be Asian doll. Let this be freaking Asian doll. If you can't tell, I don't like Asian doll. Let this be anybody else, yo, going on a rant while drunk. Um, Let's see, what else are people saying? Mm, I'm, if I think too hard, then I blank. You know what I mean? Like if you're trying to remember something and you think too hard about it, you're not going to remember it. <laughs> I freaking hate that. I hate that. Um, But I disagree with what people are saying about Lori. I don't think Lori is insecure or, you know, hates her life, hates how she looks. I don't think that about Lori. I think Lori is just really into plastic surgery. Um, I don't think Lori's channel should be defunct. Now, the other thing that concerns me is people are saying that the comment section is really toxic. And if that's the case, then you do, you need to fix that because in your videos, Lori, you say, um, this is absolutely not to shame and you don't want people shaming or harassing celebrities for plastic surgery because plastic surgery is a neutral thing. If you like it, you get it and it's fine. If you don't like it, you don't get it and that's fine. So if your comment section is literally shaming and harassing the celebrity and making fun of them and being toxic, then you need your actions and words need to match. Right. Your comment section is a representation of you and the community that you're fostering. So if stuff that you say that you're against in the video is happening right below the video, you need to nip that in the bud. You need to get some mods or something. You need to get help to moderate the comment section if that's what's going on. Um, interested to hear how you respond to this, Lori. Low key, just from what I've heard. I'm disappointed because some of the things you say in is like, girl, this is clocking one-on-one that you missed, that you missed, that you got incorrect. This is (laughs) one-on-one. This is clockage 101, baby. How did you miss that, Lori? Like, I just, I low-key, I just can't believe that you, that you did so poorly. So remake the video chat with doja cat unless and i could see Lori being like no i'm not going to chat with her because doja is going to be like i don't like you bitch he said the word damn it (laughs) but Lori, don't be scary you you talked about doja cat so have enough cojones to confront the person to their face don't be scary Doja Cat put out the offer. Send Doja a mess. If you're going to redo the video, send her a message. See if she'll chat with you so you can put out a better video. You know what I mean? So we'll see how it goes down. If you have comments, please leave them in the comment section. Put a paw print emoji so we know you made it all the way to the end, honey, because this was an hour and a half. I was not expecting this to be an hour and a half long. Holy crap. 
holy crap oh my god well it it is what it is um it's an hour and a half long so if you watch to the end you a real g like you vibe at the highest vibration i appreciate you because you could have spent an hour and a half with anybody or anything else and you spent it with me and doja cat and um we appreciate the love yeah there's so many different opinions on this i'd love to hear yours be respectful in the comments i don't play games listen if <laughs> i can smell passive aggressiveness a mile away be respectful in the comments please watch there be like two comments <laughs> <laughs> what well, people be like trick ain't nobody in the comments anyway <laughs> but um i appreciate you if you vibed subscribe consider it and until next time much love much luck peace out i don't know why i do that because i still have to click a thing to end the video